the iconic 80s soul singer. Sold out Wembley Arena for six straight nights. Racially abused by Reg from Coronation Street. Don't criticize his lifestyle. It's Alexander O'Neill. Alexander O'Neill, uh, what an honour it is to have you, a soul legend in the studio. Now, we're all huge fans of your work here on the show, and we want to talk about that in a little while. But also, I know that you're a man who takes an interest in political matters too, and that's what we uh, we like to talk about on this show. So okay. <laughs> let's start with that. Uh, we got asked about Donald Trump, another controversial week. He's under constant scrutiny. There are constantly allegations being made against your president. Uh, do you think that's fair, or do you think there's just a conspiracy amongst people in America? Well, you know, I mean, this is such a time in America to change. It's the American really don't know what to do with it, to be honest with you, you know, because this is the first time that we've ever elected a non-politician for president. So the guy brings all of his business savvy. He brings that to the party as well. So I, I myself personally, I'm willing to give him a chance. And certainly, we didn't get anything from the Obama administration, nothing at all. I'm definitely not African American, for sure. So uh, this guy is putting people back to work, getting jobs for people. Uh, I'm willing to give him a chance. So you were dissatisfied with the first black president of the United States. Why was that? Barack Obama didn't do anything for black America. And we waited a long time. We did a lot. I'm from Mississippi. I marched. I went through the civil rights movements, the whole nine yards. And uh, we waited a long time to, for that moment to come, to get a black president. And we thought that we'd get a lot of results in, uh, in black neighborhoods and stuff. But I, I didn't see any, any prosperity come. All I saw through the uh, Obama administration was the rich got richer. That's all I saw. A lot of people say about Donald Trump, though, that he is a racist. Some of the things he said make some people think he's a racist. Do you think he is? Well, if, if he is a racist, you know, at least I'd rather know, I'd rather see it and it be out on the counter than to deal with a bunch of the racists uh, that are in the world that are hiding behind uh, a cloak. You know, uh, uh, if, you know, I'm from Mississippi, so racism is nothing new to me, you know. One thing about down, being raised down south, you know what you were dealing with. It was obvious back in the 50s and the 60s, it was in your face, and it was obvious what you were dealing with. I would much rather have a president like Trump that's out in the open, and if he's walking the borderline that you're going to perceive it as he's a racist or whatever, then it's your right to do that. My personal opinion, I'm willing to give him a chance. He's doing something. And whether he's a racist or not, He's not talking about doing. He's not talking about putting people back to work. He's not talking about getting jobs. He actually is doing it. Is he doing and it? That's what America, Has that happened and yet? that's what Americans want. That's what Americans want. Has okay. it happened yet? Yes, it's constantly happened. It's happened when he first came in. I'm not here to campaign for Donald Trump, but I'm saying that we, as Americans, we have to rally behind our country and rally behind our president and give him a chance. Now, let's talk a, a bit about uh, the music business. Now, when, when you first became a global superstar, it was at a time when kind of R&B, soul music, pop, overtook rock music as like the leading genre in the world, the biggest selling genre in the world. But the other icons of your generation that made that happen along with you, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, Luther Vandross, they're all dead and they all died young. You're still standing. <laughs> well, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel great because, first of all, I'm an O'Neill. And we O'Neills were very hard to kill, you know, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, um, no, it, it, you know, uh, I'm not a Bible thumper. I'm a very spiritual man. I'm not a religious man. I'm a spiritual man. And God gives to who he pleases to give to. And, um, you know, uh, I think that he's blessed me to be able to keep doing the same thing I've been doing for the last 30 some years. And, and what are you doing at the moment? What's next for you? Where can we see you? Actually, I'm doing, a, I think it's a Greenwich. Greenwich, that's right. Greenwich Outdoor Festival. 
I'm doing a uh, be there for the Fourth of July, which is American Fourth of July. Yeah. But I don't know if you guys do you guys celebrate Fourth of July? Well, we do pay tribute <laughs> to our American friends on that day. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be doing that, and I'm also working on a brand new album that we really think very highly of. We can't wait for that.